everybody, my name is Missy and I am Cheese to Please Boards on Instagram, but it's a little bit different than a cheese board. I envision my boards as a flower arrangement, an edible arrangement. I like to put cheeses onto the board um, in a very balanced way. I'm not gonna put them all at one end or one all, all of them kind of thrown in the middle. I like to put, you know, one soft at this end, another soft at that end. Um, so I'm gonna paint on my cheeses right now, which is gonna ultimately dictate how my design's gonna go. I like to have everything sliced on the board or easy to grab. I'm gonna place things, but I may move it around according to um, what looks good and what doesn't. Got a boars in. It comes in this little um, metal tin foil. You pull it out. I'm creating my flower right now. I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm just gonna go right back around and create my petals. Um, soft cheese over here, I'm gonna put one over at this end. Again, balancing my board. This one's a Toscano. Slicing nice even slices all the way down so I can then spread it out. And I'm gonna put it, I did this corner. And again, let's see, give it a little room. Spread it out down, giving it some stairs. You know, maybe I want to go with a little more of a curve. Pretty. One that is always a fan favorite is a sheep's milk cheese, Manchego. So I'm going to, do, again, do nice even slices with this cheese. And I'm going to show you a very artsy way to kind of play with this cheese. And all I'm going to do here is flip around the piece. It's that easy. Here's the end part, so I'm gonna lay that in this corner. Um, this is a drunken goat. I am going to leave the rind. Pull out the big chunk. And I want this kind of pouring into the board. this board I love to have um, seasonal ingredients. Pomegranate that will add beautiful color on there. Um, some little kumquats. Something you know maybe someone's never seen before. Next I'm going to go ahead and grab my grapes. I like to go with the grapes next because the grapes really um, take up a lot of space and I think of it as a building block. I've got my grapes. I'm going to come in and I'm going to add my condiments. I've got a uh, really nice Michigan apple mustard, um, a strawberry hibiscus preserve, and a habanero honey. I like to get the crackers on the board um, right around the same time as the grapes because they take up a lot of time, uh, space and you want to make sure you have room for them. I like to fan these right along the cheese. And I've got crackers up here. I want to put some down here. Again, I'm balancing. I'm going to come in with another kind of cracker. Different textures. So now that I've got the crackers on the board, I'm gonna teach you right now how to make a beautiful kiwi flower. And you're gonna get a paring knife with this one. And all you're gonna do is a little zigzag. It looks like it's gonna come out to be a beautiful flower. Ta-da, beautiful kiwi flower. Thinking about where I wanna put this, they're really pretty to look at. So I might wanna put this right over here. Now I've got a beautiful pomegranate. board. Let's take a look Get to see the beautiful color. And again, it's just gorgeous. You know, I'm gonna wipe, sometimes I wipe them off because it can get kind of juicy and I don't want it kind of getting all over the board. And I wanna kind of keep, you'll notice I'm putting all the fruit somewhat together in groupings. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add in my little bit of olives, these little pickles, stuffed peppers, teeny tiny little peppers. These are my little sweetie peps. So cute. Again, they just look like a little bud ready to bloom. I usually like to put the hard salami right near those peppers and olives and I'm protecting my crackers. And I'm going to make a little river, as they like to call it. You're gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna fold it again. And you're just gonna stack them together. And I like to go flip flapping those the same way you flip flap your manchego cheese. I'm going to show you how to make a salami rose. And again, folding, doing my half. And this time I'm going to roll. Roll from the center. And you get a little petal. 
And again, I need to just wrap it around, keep that in. And, roll. and as you can see, that's a perfect little nook. It's gonna hold it and I'm gonna kind of zhuzh my leaves. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop in a few more salami roses. Again, I've got my spots where little uh, nooks I can pop them into. They will come undone if you don't have a little spot for them to go into. I've only got grapes. I love to add on um, blackberries. My absolute favorite is a dried orange. I like to put these at the end of the board. I almost envision this as a sunshine on the board. I'm adding my bright sunshine at the top. I like to give hidden treasures on my boards. So I'm gonna fill in this little spot here with some nuts, you know, layer upon layer of yummy goodness. And it brought that kiwi up a little bit higher so it's not getting lost in the mix. So I'm gonna fill this hole with pistachios. I'm really going through and filling holes. I've got my beautiful kumquats here. Nice, you know, a little bit bitter and then that burst of flavor. It's definitely missing some stuff. It needs sweets. I like to keep the chocolate um, by my dried fruit. A few more elements of sweet and pretty. I've got some chrysanthemums, um, which are edible this time of year, as well as marigolds. It's almost about done. I do notice a hole here and a couple holes. I don't like any holes. No holes allowed <laughs> on this board. <laughs> Ta-da, it's officially done. I would say this is a cheese to please winner. You can nibble and graze, enjoy the night together, and um, enjoy the company you keep. Hopefully I've taught you some wonderful tricks. Go to my page and you'll see a ton more artsy pics of cheese boards. Thank you.